I have a haul for you. Um, it's not a huge amount of stuff, but it's stuff that I've picked up just in the last week or so. Um, I decided to place an order with Love Makeup and I also have some things from Superdrug and Boots. So let's start with the Boots things. So the things that I got from Boots, I actually decided to invest in some of the Barry M um, jelly pencils. Now I have never really had too much of an interest in these in the past. Um, I had only had a chance to I think swatch one of them and I thought it was very poorly pigmented. So I didn't get like 10, I don't tend to go to the Barry M display. It's not something that I gravitate to when I go into a shop. It's not where I go first sometimes. I just don't even look at it. I really had the chance to look at these but something else came out that I wanted to look at which I'm going to show you next. Um, while I was looking at that I, I had a look at these and I thought oh they've actually got something to swatch because when I've been in the past they've been so far down you couldn't swatch them or they just haven't been there at all because people have been nicking them or something so I haven't been able to swatch them anyway even if I have looked. So um, I decided to pick up two of these because they were two for seven and I used my boots points so they cost me nothing because I thought well well you know it'll not matter so much if they're not very good. Um, so I got Vega which is a very beautiful dark berry colour and I got Electra which is a crazy pink colour. They smell amazing. Let me show you what they look like. So that is that one. They're actually really intensely pigmented once you give them a couple of swipes so I'm actually really impressed. That one is Electra. Now Electra is coming out a lot more neon in person than it is on camera but they are really really pretty shit. The next thing is actually the thing that I went in for but they only had one shade so all I could do was get this one shade because they didn't have the two others that I wanted. They only had five of the seven colours and it was just kind of weird because they had this one and then they had the four completely neutral colours. Well they had the coral but then they had like the neutral colours and it was like oh I really don't want the neutral colours I want the bright colours so and the dark colours but they did have this one. Anyway, I got this one and this one is in the colour Tease, which is a beautiful classic bright red colour. Look at that, it's just beautifully pigmented. That is what it swatches like. That is literally a tiny dot off the end of the applicator. It's beautiful and um, I think I actually posted a photo wearing this on Instagram if you want to check that out but I also have pictures of the jelly shines and the loud mouth on my blog so please do check those out. There are swatches on the hand and swatches on the lips so you can actually see what these all look like on. Then at Superdrug um, they had the three for two so I got three of these but I've sent one back because the colour description on the website is cherry red and when I got it it was like a pink and it was not a very nice pink so I sent that one back so um, I'll get refunded the five pound for that one even though it was the three for two and it was free so technically these two cost me five pound which is quite good. Um, I got some more of the matte rechargeable balms. I use this every day. I've even started to use it as a lip balm underneath like whatever I'm wearing. I use it on top of like the velvet stuff to make it a little bit less dry and less sticky. So I'm using this every single day. Um, these are $3.99 reduced from $7.99. You don't get a massive amount there. So yeah, I'm going through them a lot. <laughs> so I got three for two. So it cost me £8 to get three, which I thought was a really reasonable price. Okay, so the two, I got two of these two true pro glosses. These are the eight hour power lip colours. <laughs> Why has everything got such a long name these days? Anyway, I got two of them and I really like these shades. This one is called Natalie, which is a bright pink. Again, I do have a blog post on these as well. So please do check that out. And then the other one I got was Angelina, which I'm quickly swatching. And Angelina is a red colour. So this is what the applicator looks like. It's just a standard sort of applicator. Um, they do have quite a nice smell actually. They smell like flumps or marshmallows. Which ones are they? Them ones. So this one is Natalie and that one is Angelina. It's a little similar to that but I think it's a little bit more blue based. So those two are very pretty. I couldn't resist those plus that eight hour wearing which I thought was really useful for like when I go to work or if I'm going to an event and I don't want to have to worry because I am terrible about reapplying lipstick. I never remember to do it. So I really need things that are really long lasting on the lips that will go on really well or something like a lip pencil where I don't need to use a mirror. I can just slap it on. So those are the kind of things that I like at the moment. 
The other thing that I just got, I got ordered this from Superdrug Online. It was $7.99. Um, but I did get this new Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation to try. I've actually got it on today and it applied beautifully. I mean, I put it on and I was instantly just really pleased with how well it went on. Um, yeah, so I'm liking it. And this one is in light porcelain. I placed a MAC order um, and I also bought some MAC on eBay. So I'll show you the eBay item first. This is from the Archie's Girl collection and this is the Veronica pigment. I actually do have the other one. Do I have all of them? I have all of them. Right, so I picked up the two pastels and the other dark one when the collection came out. Or no, I picked up two of them and got, I got one online and then I picked this one up and it was £8 on eBay which was a really decent price. This one is Black Poodle. Um, I don't know, you probably not see it overly well. I mean, it just comes out as a black. I'll do a swatch, whether you will be able to see or not, I'm not really sure. Um, but that, no, I don't think he can. It's got like a purple, little bits of purple in it. And you can kind of see them reflecting as it moves, but I don't think that's going to come off too well on camera. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame, but it's a beautiful pigment. I really wanted it at the time, but I was already ordering quite a bit from the collection and I just could not afford another item at the time, which is why I picked up one of the pigments online later on. And then I decided to pick this one up now because I saw that somebody um, who I've purchased from in the past had it on for eight pounds, which I thought was a really good price. And then the other pigment that I got, I actually got from the MAC site when I actually placed my Playland order. I've got one really grubby finger. Um, yeah, so I got this pigment because I've had my eye on it for ages. I've actually put it on today under this eye look. And it's just pure white. That's what it's called. It's a pure matte white pigment. Not much to see there. No point in kind of swatching it really. It's just a white pigment. And it's, well, I could swatch it. It's actually, it's very pigmented. <sighs> Go figure, I mean, being a pigment and all. I don't want to use a lot of this, but that's basically it. So it is a white pigment, and that is what it looks like. Let me kind of blend that. I could have blended that better, <laughs> but that's what it looks like. So it's pretty good. It's actually really quite intense. I mean, that's blended, and you can really see that white patch there. So I was really impressed using it first time today. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. So those are my two MAC things and then the last things in this haul are actually from Love Makeup. So we'll talk about the Ben Nye things first. Um, the first thing I got was this Ben Nye neutral set. Yes, neutral set. This was either £7.45 or £7.85, I really can't remember but I know it was £7 something. You get 49 grams of product in here. And I got this because it is comparable to the Gosh Prime and Set Powder. Now the Gosh Prime and Set Powder is £9.99 and you only get 7 grams of product. You get 49 grams of product for £7.45. So that is just insane because if Gosh were to charge you for 49 grams of product, that would be at least £60. They would charge you for that much of their product and it is identical, it is the same thing. It is a beautiful, a very finely milled white powder um, and it's great, it blurs imperfections I feel, I feel like it does. Um, but it's also a really good setting powder and it helps like keep your makeup set throughout the day and prevents um, like things like sweat and moisture affecting your makeup. And I've heard that Ben Nye are amazing, so I know it's in a funny container um, because basically it's just kind of like holes at the top but I plan on decanting it into a little pot and using it from there so it's no different from using the pressed powder out of a container. So I thought that was fantastic value. And then the other item I got which I was like confused when I first opened my package, I got the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Rose Petals, a Rose Petal. Now I wanted the pretty pink which they didn't seem to have but I don't know if this has taken over from it because they didn't, it seemed exactly the same colour when I've done a bit of research online. You get 26 grams of product in this domed jar and this actually retails for more than those do um, because it's in the convenience of a domed jar and it's got a sifter in it so it's actually ready to use. Okay, I've got myself sorted. I ordered the shaker bottle because it was £13.45 so it came like this because for £13.45 you got 42 grams of product this retailed at the time for £16.85 and you only got 26 grams of product so you're basically paying for the convenience of the packaging however the bottle was out of stock 
They have now reduced this down to 13.45 per container. So that's really quite good. I don't know if they're just not planning to do this shade anymore or something. It seems quite weird that they've reduced it down because if they were getting more stock, you think they would leave it the same. But what they did was, this was 16.85 and they give me two of these. So this should have been 36 pounds worth of product. Now it's only 27 pounds worth of product. But um, basically it gave me 10 grams more product and it gives me in the more convenient sort of packaging. So yes, I don't know if any of that made sense to you because it really didn't make sense to me, but I thought it was really quite good because they could have just said, hey, it's out of stock, we're going to refund you the money. And yeah, that I would have been a little bit upset about that because I still wanted the powder or that, you know, I like that they just kind of said, okay, it's our fault. We're just going to give you two of these. So you're going to get more product. You're going to get the more convenient packaging. So yeah, I was really impressed. I love, love makeup. I've always had fantastic experiences with them the customer service is fantastic and the delivery is super fast so yes that is the, the powder <laughs> the rose petal pink i've waffled on forever there i don't know if you can see it is just an incredibly very soft pink it's really good for brighten and fair complexions um that is what it looks like and i'll just pop it on i'm not going to blend that in just yet but that's what it looks like and then blend it in you can not really see it but it does give the skin a kind of a brighter almost glow about it it's really really gorgeous so I'm actually super pleased with it and I've actually used it today to set my makeup so I am really loving this stuff so I'm glad I've got two I've left the other one sealed and popped it in my stock drawer when this is gone I've got another one to go to and hopefully they'll still be doing it because I really like it Okay, on to Lime Crime. Now, it was actually a Lime Crime um, was another part of the reason I went on to Love Makeup. I went on to Love Makeup because I heard that this is a fantastic dupe for like the gosh type of products um, and for sort of the MAC Blot um, powder, which is expensive as well. So that's why I kind of went on for that. Then I noticed that and I was like, ooh, that's really nice and that's really what I need right now because I just think with being ill and very run down, I think my complexion just looks incredibly dull. So I definitely think something like that makes a difference. But while I was on, I wanted to check the Lime Crimes. I always have a little bit of a look because I've been after Red Velvet forever, but it's always out of stock. So I went on to Love Makeup and they had it in stock and I was like, oh my goodness. So while I was on, I just thought, right, I'm going to get the Red Velvet in the bed now. I'm going to get this other Velvet lipstick that I really want and I'm going to get those two lipsticks from Lime Crime. Because I wasn't going to get anything else from Lime Crime after Serpentina. The more unusual colours are lovely, but they do not really interest me that much. I do want Chinchilla at some stage. I did order it and, and when it arrived, it was damaged so I returned it at the time they didn't have it in stock now it is actually back in stock so at some point I will order it right now I'm not taking the plunge it's a grayed lilac it's very pretty I do have a very pale like sort of grayed lilac from La Masca but it's not like the lime crime one so I will invest in it at some point and I wasn't really bothered about some of the more normal sort of lipsticks but then I looked at these two and I'm so into my reds right now so I decided I'm just going to get them. I really, really fancy them. So, I think the lipsticks were 11 50 and the red velvet, the velvets were 12 50 or 13 50 I think they were 13 50 the velvets. And I've never had a Lime Crime Velvet and I hear wonderful things about them, so I was really excited to get them. So, the first one I'm going to show you is actually from the Clueless Witch Collection. And this one's in the colour Wicked. And it's the most incredible berry shade and it's really pretty it smells really nice this definitely smells like flumps marshmallows i tell you it definitely does right where would be a good place to swatch that so that is what that one looks like oh look at it just look at the prettiness it's so beautiful it's such an intense deep red i absolutely love it it's fantastic so that is just great i'm seriously impressed with that and then the other one, Red Velvet. I've been after it forever and it keeps going out, coming back in and then I'm going, oh, a hum and harn. And then I say, oh, I'm not going to get it. Then I go back and think, oh, yeah, maybe I should just get it. And then it's not in stock. So this time when I went on, it was in stock. I was like, just Lisa, have a word yourself. Stop it. Just order it. You really, really want it. So I did order it. And this is Red Velvet and I'm so pleased with it. It's so pretty. I haven't actually put it on my lips yet. But look at the colour. It's 
perfect. They look a tad darker, I think, until they dry properly. Yeah, but that is wicked, and that one is red velvet. Red velvet, look, it's so beautiful. It's so deep. Like, it's nothing like the reds that I've got before. It's, it's more of a deep red. I thought it was going to be more of a classic red. It kind of is classic, but it's not, if you know what I mean. It's not quite as light in colour, particularly as the lipstick, which I'm about to show you, which is kind of why I got that one, because I wanted something in this classic sort of fire engine red. I've been searching for that colour for ages. I've bought lots of red lip products, and I really think I've found it now with this Lime Crime lipstick. So I'm really, really happy about that. And the packaging is lovely. It's just a very simple lilac box with a silver unicorn on it, but it is really quite nice and effective. And then the lipsticks, let me line up the unicorn. The lipsticks look like this. I'm sure you've seen them a million times. They're just lilac and they are similar in sort of shape and roughly size as a MAC lipstick. This one is in Glamour 101, which I still haven't swatched because I knew that I was going to film this video, but that's what Glamour 101 looks like. And it's so, so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And the lovely Shinaxo, I think she did um, a video definitely where she was wearing retro futurist. I can't remember whether she featured Glamour 101 on her channel or not, um, but Glamour 101 is just so, so pretty. I checked out some swatches online. I like to Google things before I buy them and YouTube them and really research them, especially when you're spending this kind of money on a lipstick. But that one is Glamour 101. I think it's beautiful. It's the perfect sort of red, wine, berry sort of colour. It's just stunning. So I had to get that one. And then the other one is the Fire Engine Red I was looking for. Now, Shanaxo actually, or Shannon X, oh, I should say, she actually had this on in a video the other day, and I was like, oh my goodness, what does she have on her lips? And I think it was in that information bar I kind of clicked on there. That's the first thing I do if I like somebody's makeup. I generally check the information bar just in case they've listed it first. Um, yeah, so I just was like, oh, I have to have her lipstick in this video. And that's it. It's Retro Futurist. It's so beautiful and so bright. I absolutely love this colour. So we will do a swatchy of that one. And that's what that one looks like. So that's it. So beautiful. It's absolutely stunning and it is the perfect bright red that I have been looking for. Because I've got lots of bright reds, but they tend to have a little bit of a darkness to them that kind of brings it back down. It's a very classic true red, but I wanted something that was really quite bright and in your face sort of red. So I'm really excited that that is definitely what I've been looking for. What I've been looking for. Do, 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh God, I'm going to too many lipsticks. <coughs> So, I'm all covered in swatches now. Um, if you wonder what I've got on my lips, I've got on new MAC Happy Go Lucky. I think I've drunk some of it off. Tony made me a lovely cup of coffee. So, I think the drinking has kind of took some of it off. And I've also got on For Your Amusement, which was part of the collection. I've got that on my cheeks. Very, very impressed with the Clearland collection that arrived today, but I do have a lipstick to return because Red Balloon came and I do not like it. It is not nice. So, <sighs> they just smell wonderful. So that's the Lime Crime stuff there. I actually like that there are four completely different colours there. Although it's four reds, they are very, very different from one another. So I really quite like that. Yes. I hope they bring out more red velvets. It would be lovely to have a really nice purple one, I think. Um, I was looking at the black one, which I'm kind of... Sorry, I'm not looking at you, but I'm trying to look for that now. I did look at the black one but I do have this one which is kind of a dupe except it's not because this came out before the black one from Lime Crime. This is Raven by Topshop which I think I have shown you before and that one is there. It's so intense. I mean there is nothing wrong with this lipstick at all. So it seems crazy to me to go out and get the Lime Crime one for £13.50. This one was £10 anyway, so it really was quite pricey. 
but that one is insanely pigmented and it does the same sort of job so there was no way that I was going to get the black one even though I really wanted it because it's called Black Velvet and I do love that song by Alana Miles so anyway I'm totally waffling now I think I've gone out of focus oh no I hope this whole haul hasn't been out of focus please okay anyway that is it. That is today's haul. Not much really. I do have the Mac Playland haul coming up. That should be the next video up on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I've been Spacey's number one girl and this is the colour of my kiss.